agent that it only infects those taking part in protests the government wants to stop. Why is it nonsense? Why can anyone with half a brain cell on activity C or active duty C? that it's a nonsense because they are making it up. So, so why? Why are they doing that? Well, I can answer that with a another point, another question. How could I have predicted current events decades ago? How could Aldous Huxley have done it in the 1930s? How could George Orwell have done it in the 1940s? Simple. Current events are not random. They have not just happened. We are seeing a long, long planned agenda rolling out in a script. And it is destined, if we do not stand up now, to end with the total global subjugation of the human race, not least technolo technologically. We now are standing at an amazing point in history where we are at a fork in the road. If we go on allowing the psychopaths to dictate our lives, this is not going to end well. But if we remember, remember where the power is, then this can, this can end in a dramatically short time. The power is with us. this when he wrote 200 years ago his oh so appropriately named the mask of anarchy rise like lions after slumber even vanquish a bone number shake your chains to earth like Jew which in sleep have fallen on you ye are many they are few. And those words were written in 1819, and so much of humanity still has not learned the lesson. This, this whole subjugation and imposition of fascism on the human race worldwide is being run not by health professionals even, but by psychologists. Just down the road there, yards from where we are, is the yeah. British, the British government's uh, cabinet office owned private company called the Behavioral Insights Team. And its job is simply to study human psychology and then to play out what it's learned to re-modify the behavior of the population. And they are focusing on our kids more than anyone. Stop back! Stop back! Stop back. What, what they don't want us to know, the biggest mind trick they play on us, is this. They want us to believe that authority has power. Authority has no power. Authority's power the world over is only our power which we give to them. Thousands of people headed to the beaches a few weeks ago.
there was no chance of our social distancing. So they were sitting together in their thousands. The local authority declared a major incident. Okay, declare it. But what are you going to do about it? Well, there's nothing we can do, is there? There's too many people that won't obey. Exactly. This world is controlled by a tiny few people because of a simple sequence of imposition and acquiescence. All the way down the pyramid, imposition, acquiescence. The next level acquiesces and imposes on the next level, and then it goes down to us, the people. And if we acquiesce to that level of the hierarchy that seeks to impose on us, i.e. government, police, then we complete a circuit between the tiny few in the shadows and the entire global population. And that circuit means that a tiny few impose their agenda on billions of people. How, how do we break that sequence? We stop acquiescing. Human race! Get off your knees! The lion seeks no more! Come on, people of 